Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sandy Beauty here and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be reviewing a new foundation. This is the Huda Beauty Full Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. Guys, I reviewed the stick foundation like maybe a month, two months ago. Loved it. And they actually just came out with a luminous matte liquid foundation. So I'm obviously going to try it because I'm excited. I loved the full filter stick foundation, so I want to see if I'm going to love the luminous matte just as much. So if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking it, which I know you will. Don't forget to check out my vlogs as well. If you guys want to see like my whole moving process and how I'm setting up my filming room and everything, it will definitely be included in my vlogs. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed and you guys are checking in every Sunday. Okay, so I'm just going to start with my eyebrows. I'm going in with this Morphe Slim Brow brow pencil it's called their micro brow brow pencil they just sent this to me so I've never used it before so I'm just gonna use it today and I'm just gonna go for a more like natural brow so I'm gonna just fill in a bit of color this one is actually in the shade Java So far I'm liking it actually. Let me know if you guys like my new um, lighting and everything. Still trying to work it out and see how I like it, but this is actually my first video since I got new lighting. If you guys want to see the lights that I got, check out my new vlog. Okay, so my brows are there. They also sent this clear brow gel, so I love clear brow gel. I'm just going to go ahead and use some of that right now. I'm gonna go in with my Sani Beauty concealer brush to clean up my brows. Um, I'll leave everything linked down below, my brush collection and everything it is now out. I have launched it. It's, it's pretty much like almost a month now and it's doing so good. Okay, so my brows are good. They look nice and fluffy and natural, just how I like them. So next, I'm just gonna go in with some eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this Too Faced Born This Way concealer just to prep my eyelids. I'm just gonna blend that in with the same concealer brush. So all of the brushes I'm using today will be from the Sandy Beauty brush collection. So right now I'm just going to be going in with my fluffy blending brush and I'm just going in with this Huda Beauty Nude Rich Palette. I'm not going to be using much from this. I think I'm just going to tap into like this light pink in the center and then some of this color right here. Okay, so next I'm going to take my dense crease brush and I'm just going to go into this shade only and I'm just going to be placing that pretty much on the outer corners. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with this shade that's right here. I'm just going to apply that with my finger actually and Huda Beauty literally has some of the best eyeshadows out there, honestly. I'm just going to take my pencil brush, this one in the corner here, and I'm going to run that along my lower lash line. Okay guys, so I finished my eye makeup. I just did a wing liner and put on some lashes. These are the McQueen lashes from Starlight Collection. Like, I love these lashes. I've worn them a few times already and like, I love them. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my face and try out the foundation. Um, I'm going to be going in with my Milk Hydro Grit Primer. And I believe this foundation, it says it should be paired with their, um, their hydrating primer or something like that. But I already have the Milk Hydro Grit Primer, so I didn't need that. So like I said, I'm going to be going in with the foundation now. This is the Full Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. I got this in the shade 500G, which is Mocha, and I got it in this shade because 
this is what I tried out in the stick foundation and I really liked how the color looked on my complexion so I'm gonna try the same shade with the liquid hopefully like fingers crossed it works out so it has a pump on it and I love foundations that have a pump like it just makes it so easy because I could literally just pump it onto the face so with this foundation they say that it's full coverage uh, it's 24 hour wear um, waterproof transfer proof sweat proof all of that proof so we're gonna see I'm gonna wear it for a few hours yeah so I'm gonna be going to work out in about five hours so I'm gonna be wearing this foundation until just before I leave I'm gonna like wipe it off and wash my face just to see literally like if it really can withstand some time I'm gonna be going in with this flat top kabuki brush this is from the Sunny Beauty collection and I'm literally just gonna take the foundation and pump it right onto the brush now it says it's full coverage so I'm literally just gonna go in with this much so I'm just gonna dot it on to my face Honestly, this is legit full coverage. Like I can already tell I don't need any more. I don't really see the luminous part of the luminous matte title, to be very honest with you. Like this seems like just a matte foundation. It doesn't even seem luminous at all. Like there's literally no luminosity to this foundation. This is a matte foundation, I don't care. This is not a luminous matte, this is just matte, that's it. So I'm just gonna go back in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade of Butterscotch. I'm just gonna go in and set my face with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder. This is in the shade Kanafa. Love this powder. I picked this up in December and I have not put it down since. Gonna go in with my favorite brush out of the whole collection, okay? So multi-purpose. I love, love, love this brush so much. You can use it for blush, highlighter, setting powder, whatever you want, I love it. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this powder. And I'm not big on baking, I like to just set and I'm just gonna go in and press that in. Like the powder is so lightweight, it's not heavy at all. Yeah. And it's not super dry either. How you guys liking it so far? Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Brontour. This is in the shade Showman. So you guys know I love this. Like this is like my favorite, my absolute favorite. I'm gonna go in with my angle brush. Just gonna dip into that. And remember guys, I have a Morphe code if you wanna save some money. It is Morphe Glam Fam 667. So you could save some coins when you purchase from Morphe. I missed a step. I was wondering why this was clinging to the foundation so much. I forgot to set the rest of my face. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're gonna fix this. This is looking crazy right now. <laughs> you guys, that's how you know I haven't done my makeup in like so long. I have, I, I'm forgetting what I usually do. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna fix that. Don't worry, it's looking real crazy crazy right now okay so i'm gonna set my face properly now i'm just gonna set over top of everything just so everything can be seamless and blended usually i would do vice versa but as you can see with this situation here like i don't know what i'm thinking so i'm just gonna go in with my beautiful fluffy luxe powder brush and i'm gonna go in with this fenty um pro filter powder and i'm just gonna i love this powder so much you guys know i love my mac mineralite skin finish but this one this one seems to be comparable. Like finish wise, it's very comparable. See, you just kind of fix that little situation up there, okay? So that's a trick if you guys ever put on too much of something like bronzer or contour or even highlighter. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and highlight. I'm using this Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. So it's the same brush that I used to set under my eyes and I'm just going in with the highlighter. Wow. 
I think that's it for my face. So I'm just gonna set my face with my Max, Max. <laughs> so I'm just gonna set my face with my Max. Why? <sighs> Guys, I haven't done my makeup in like so long, I'm not even remembering anything. This is the MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray. Oh my God. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in and line my lips with this lip liner from ColourPop. It's the Shayla X ColourPop Liner in the shade BFF4. So I'm gonna be doing just lip gloss. I actually have some glosses coming out in my collection. I have like so much stuff, guys. I have an eyeshadow palette coming, I have lip glosses, I have like so much more, okay? So don't forget to check out Sunny Beauty Cosmetics. So the link will be down below for you guys. But I don't know which one of these two I wanna do today. So I think I'm gonna do this pinky kind of color. So pretty, oh my God. Mm, yeah, this is so nice. Like, you guys need to stay tuned for these lip glosses because, mmm, I like it. <laughs> I haven't done my makeup in so long, guys, so I'm really, really feeling myself right now, okay? One thing I'm gonna say, though, I feel like I do notice a slight bit of creasing happening there. But, like I said, I'm gonna be wearing this foundation for the next few hours. Let me see what time it is. Yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this foundation for the next like four and a half, five hours. We're gonna see in a few hours how it looks on my skin. So I'm gonna come back to you in a few hours. Um, I'm about to do a workout, so I do need to take my face off now. And yeah, it literally looks like I just did my makeup. Thing is, I am noticing a little bit of creasing. Still, I do not notice the luminous part of the foundation. It is honestly matte. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to click the subscribe button, join the Sunny family, and yeah, bye guys.